Hi guys, my name is Sabrina and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another scrawler box for you guys and it looks different so I'm very excited to go and see what's in here and why this is different. So let's get on with it. So this box looks completely different than the old box and I have to say like there's more space in it obviously and the first thing I'm seeing is this create more book it's oh, it looks like kind of like a little sketchbook that's really really nice then this is I believe their artwork Rob Draper so it looks kind of cute same kind of style then I see two sheets of cardboard paper. I wonder what we get to make. Then we have a Create More sticker. It's really cute, I really like it. The menu I'm gonna put aside. This looks kind of arts and craftsy. And <laughs> we got a gold chocolate coin. So, <laughs> okay, that's our little treat. Gold Dazzle, is this glitter? Then there is a four Pit Artist Black Pens. So these are like fine liners and it's a brush nib, a 0.7 nib, a fine nib and a 0.3 nib I believe they are. And there's India ink in these. So they're from Faber-Castell. Then we get a white pigment ink pen. So the Uniball. I wonder if this is just a gel pen. Maybe. We get a gold Scrawler Box and Viking pencil in 4B. And we get a sticky pen. So this is to put the glue on. And the Scrawler Box challenge is something out of nothing. So it does kind of feel that way. So the first thing I of course have to do is test the supplies and I just thought to speed this up to make the process just a bit faster and starting out with the fine liner is just testing out how big they actually look and the brush pen I have to say that the white gel pen really seemed to work quite fast and quite well and for the glue pen I was a little bit surprised with how it came out it kind of looks like PVC glue like really Obviously you saw it's white and very liquidy and just came out in one big goo. So I don't have as much control over it as I would like, I think, for the drawing. But it works well and the gold glitter looks beautiful. It's really shiny and it's a beautiful gold shade. So love that. So what I have to do is sketch. And I know that the video is going faster than I can talk right now, but I used a little sketchbook to sketch my ideas. So I thought I lost the second page here as well, but I didn't. I found it, thank goodness. So I just wanted to show you guys what I'm drawing here and explaining what I'm doing because I had two separate ideas here and I wanted to make sure I could draw them both out and still use this sketchbook for that reason. Basically what I've done, the first sketch was a girl in water, that was my first idea and then the second idea was to have a waterfall, maybe someone jumping in next to the waterfall or anything like that. So I ended up with combining the two. So I wanted to draw a girl who's in the water and basically the water is up to bit of her belly button I'd say and she's got very long hair that flows in the water and I really like how that looks and because I usually draw on my iPad nowadays I have to say again that I had to get used again to draw on paper and I had to keep in mind as well because I only have the fine liners this time to make the piece I don't have any colors I have to work in some sort of black and white kind of range with like the brown showing through and I have the white gel pen of course. So how am I going to do this? So you'll see a bit more lines in the actual drawing than you think I might need. 
but I'll use those to add extra black patches in the drawing and I think you'll get an idea of that the more I continue. But I started out with the girl and then I combined it by putting the waterfall behind her and I really like that look. I think that makes sure that because I want to make the water gold. So all the water is going to be gold. So you have the waterfall in the background and then you have the water around her. So I think that will give a nice look. I know it's going, going to be a lot of water. I hope it's not going to be too much water, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. So when that was done, I wanted to have a tree at the left side as well. And how on earth was I going to make that tree? But I figured it out and I want to have a border around it too. So I know it's not a perfect border, but it will do for now. Then I wanted to make sure as well, I use all the art supplies that I got. So I used the pencil, I used the fine liners, and I want to make sure I used all the fine liners. So I mixed up, the, well there's just four, so I mixed them up in parts of the drawings where I was using them. So the outside is going to be the biggest fine liner I have, and then the inside is going to be the thinnest, and in between I will use the other two shades or the two ranges as well. And here is where it's becoming a little challenging. So I have never drawn in this style, but when I look at it, I think it's beautiful when I see other people draw in this kind of style. I don't know how they pull it off or what they do, what they don't do, but I know that I really like it. So I figured, why not? You know, these scroller boxes are about, all about trying new things and that's exactly where I'm going for right now. And I enjoyed it. I loved it. I think it's really cool and it gives such a beautiful effect to the actual drawing. Now, I did think that it might look off if you don't quite understand that effect. And of course, this is the first time I'm doing it. So, you know, stay with me here. <laughs> so that's what I've done. I applied shadow areas to the areas where I thought that shadows would be good and try to apply light areas later on too, but I'll show you that. So before I continue about the drawing, I just want to ask you guys real quick, if you guys like this video, let me know down below in the comments what you liked in it and if you guys have anything else that you think I could improve on or could do better. Of course, like my actual artwork is always going to be in progress. But yeah, let me know. Like, I'd like to hear from you guys and I'd like to get your feedback. So give me a shout down below and I'll see what I can do for you guys. That'd be amazing because I want your experience on my channel to be good too. Then back to the actual artwork. And I have to say, this is my last scroller box for now and I don't have more. And I'm, oh, I'm hoping I'm going to get more in the future because I really like these. I think they're so much fun to do. And I actually like where I'm going with this one. I think artwork wise, this might be one of the nicer ones that came out like this. And my husband chipped in as well with idea. So thank you, sweetie. I appreciate that. <laughs> he actually mentioned the waterfall. So as you can see, I colored in all, well, not colored in, but I lined all the pieces and I'm now trying to erase the pencil marks. So I was considering keeping the pencil marks in there, but I think it makes for a messier drawing. So I ended up removing all of them and you can see some still are left, but I will fill them up with glitter and it will be so shiny. And yeah, we'll see how that looks in the end. So I continued on by putting a bit more effect in the trees and I really like how they came out. And the second I went in with my white pen, I was like, oh my goodness, this looks beautiful. I love this. And I don't know if I went a bit overboard with this. I tried not to, but I also wanted to make sure I had enough little highlights going on in the actual drawing. And it's very much black or white like it's zero or a hundred i kind of felt that way and then the brown paper was like 50 or something so that's kind of how that felt to me it felt a little surreal to use those colors in that way but i'm quite happy with it it's quite nice and then it was time for the glitter and my goodness i don't like mess on my desk and i was afraid this was going to be really messy like the last scrawler box but it ended up not being so bad. So I 
put the glitter on the two patches at first so the top one and then the bottom left and I love the sparkle I really do and the only downside though is that as soon as I moved on to the bottom piece there was so much glue on there <laughs> and it was so hard to spread out that the like the paper started to curl a little quite a bit and I couldn't really like fix that it was that just a bit hard for me to fix so that was a bit of a downer and I'm patting in the glitter as you can see and that worked really really well I have to say that glue stick is I suppose quite handy for those kind of things again it's a little harder if you want to go into like smaller things I couldn't really I didn't feel that I had that much control over it over where it went but it works so really happy with that and this is the piece you guys so Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys next week. Thank you. Bye.